Hello, today I got a video remake. Uh, today we have the quick positive eating calm and Triglavian standings video. We are going to be going over a quick and easy way to get your standings positive with both, both eating calm and Triglavians. Uh, the way this video is going to go uh, is we're going to go through the ship that you are needing to do it. And then after we go through the ship, we're going to go through getting into Pochfin and then locating the site, uh, which is the next part that you need to know. And then the next part you need to know is how to do the site. And then we're going to go over verifying that we actually got positive standings. And then after that, uh, what to do if you have already have big standings for eating calm or Triglavian uh, towards the end of the video. Uh, but this should be a pretty simple, we got it down to 20 minutes long and it should go over everything that you need to know to have positive Triglavian standings. So without further ado, here we go. All right, so the uh, ship that we need to bring uh, is going to be some anything, really, uh, whatever race you are. So if you pick Kaldari, Glente, or whatever, uh, just grab one of the combat frigates. If it has any repairs on it, it's going to be good. You only take like five DPS uh, while you're doing this. So really any frigate will work. So you're going to just pick up the cheapest frigate that's combat capable that you can, and that will work for you. Um, I, I, I was going to like go ahead and figure out what was smallest, but when I tested this 2.4 million S Kestrel to do it, I realized that this was overkill. Yes, this was absolutely overkill. Uh, this is just a simple Kestrel with uh, a light missile launcher. Uh, it is actually the recommended fit uh, for doing Abyssal Tears or Dark, except I changed the multi-spectrum to a compact multi-spectrum to save the CPU. Because this character has no skills. Uh, but if you're a Mar, a Punisher would work uh, fantastically. Uh, probably this fit would be overkill, and so would this one. As long as it has some kind of, I guess this one doesn't have repair. It should be able to live long enough. Probably the Amar Enforcer. This thing's 1.2 million isk, so I'd, 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 I'd probably go with this if I was a Mar. And then if I was uh, Galente, uh, they'd probably have... Uh, that thing has no reps on it. Uh, the Imicus would be a good exploration ship. Do we really have nothing? Uh, actually, this is probably perfect. Uh, the um, Abyssal Tier 1 Electrical at 2.1 million isk. And then Mimitar probably has a Rifter fit. That's good. Uh, I will go with the Enforcer because it's got a repper on it, and it is at the 2.3 million esque mark. So if you wanted to go as cheap as possible, uh, I believe that uh, Enforcer Retribution is the cheapest ship at 1.2 million esque. If you have skills for whatever and you want the absolute cheapest thing, they'll all perform about the same. You need just need reps, and then uh, you'll see in the next part, the site's really easy. Uh, any reps and any uh, prop mod will be helpful, and you expect it to die we can't do Kino. Oh, really? That was fast. Okay, well, that's good to know. We just died. That happens. <laughs> All right, so the next thing to tackle, we have our ship. We're ready to go. Um, we may have seen the site yet, or you're about to see the site after this part. But the next problem that we have is we need to get into Pochfin. Uh, there's a few ways to do this. Uh, first and easiest, uh, but costs isk, is to grab a filament. And uh, they are located, if you hit Alt-R, uh, Alt-R is your encyclopedia and store for EVE Online. Uh, you go ahead and uh, uncheck the show only available. It shows all the things and it becomes an encyclopedia, but some people like to check this. Personal preference. Uh, anyways, we scroll down to the bottom here at Trade Goods, and then we are going to look for the Filaments tab. And then we have um, Triglavian Space Inbound and Triglavian Space Outbound. For getting into Pachman, the Triglavian Space Inbound are the ones that you want. And you can go through all of these and pick out the cheapest one. So if one is, you know, 20 million isk, uh, I would probably avoid that. Uh, but I would just, you know tab down these uh the clandestine there was 96k so that one's really cheap uh, around where i live uh that one's 105k 164 that that, that one's 91,000 uh for the home potchman filament filament uh these ones are 50,000 and that one the internal five is 40,000 so for the sake of this video i'll recommend internal five so etern internal five this will take you to an internal system uh in the potchman entry manual which will be linked uh and internal systems are the ones not 
uh, circled. Uh, so uh, border is the blue circles. Uh, internal internal can be any of these guys. Uh, and then depending on what clade you have is which corner you'll go into. Uh, so internal... Yeah, it just goes internal somewhere. So it can go to, I believe, nine systems. Uh, anyways, that will take you in there. You'll get in, no problem. And then depending on the value of your ship, uh, if you bring something that's more valuable, uh, you may want to bring a... Jesus, these are cheap. Just bring a glorification one from uh, Devana filament and you'll get out. Uh, but the glorification uh, filaments take you to a random Triglavian minor victory system. You just earn positive trick standings, you'll be pretty safe in there unless it brings you to a low sec or a null sec run, which does exist. But it's a chance your ship gets out. But your ship is arguably, if you follow this guide, you have a dirt cheap ship. And so losing it's going to be okay. I encourage you to just kind of go explore Pochfin after you do things and see if there's anything that interests you. Uh, so you can take a, a glorification one or proximity five, uh, but these are five million isk and they're worth they're, they cost double the isk of your ship. So it may not be worth it to grab the proximity five. However, glorification, grab that guy, take it. Worst case, you lose your ship because you went in an old sack. But best case, you end up somewhere nearby Jita. And you'll be a pretty happy camper. Uh, so maybe bringing one of these would be a good idea. That gives you an easy out 20 minutes after you get in because you have to wait 20 minutes for a timer. Uh, and then the other way to get in and out, so you can use the, the filaments, which I just spent the last three minutes explaining, or uh, you can locate a wormhole. And uh, this is actually really easy. We're going to refer to that Pochman en entry manual again. And in the Pochman entry manual, you have uh, a list of all the, the Pochman systems and then the possible systems where they can spawn. But if you sneak a peek all the way down to Senda, uh, which is my personal favorite one, and they're all alphabetical, so it's towards the bottom. There's Tenudin, Vale, Rorshanda. Uh, so we go up. Uh, Senda's a magical system. Uh, since Euritra, if you're a Kaldari pilot, or uh, I believe Kasigo and Euritra are both uh, Nubro systems. So what that means is they made it so Triglavians can't spawn in Yuitra, Unpass, or Erlen. They made the wormholes not able to spawn. What this leaves behind is that the wormhole to Senda will always spawn in Turianus, Garrus, Shahukin, or Sorcession. So if you have the ability to scan or have the know-how uh, to scan with a uh, scanning ship, uh, you can just go into one of these systems. And in fact, I'll show you guys scanning. So I have a pacifier here. Yes, I'm cheating. Uh, but what you can do is uh, you can start knocking down uh, the cosmic signatures by scanning them down. Uh, you just go ahead and launch your probe scanner. And then I've already scanned down the wormholes. Uh, you would scan down the wormholes in the four systems. Uh, and in this case, it is in, uh, it's in Circession. So we already scanned that down. That's where this guy is. He's in Circession next door. And uh, once you scan it down, you just kind of warp to it. Let me go ahead and dock this guy back up. But a fun fact is that, uh, again, for all of your races in the holes and fits, uh, CCP has been nice enough to give basic exploration ships that are super cheap as well. Uh, so this could be cheaper as like a long-term uh, thing. Uh, you can grab the Magnet, which is a Air Amar Explorer. And this would do fine because you have your uh, core core probe launchers, and this is only 1.3 million isk. So you can go locate your wormhole uh, in uh, one of these four systems fairly easily if you didn't want to do the filament way. Uh, and so there's two ways to get in. Uh, you can bookmark the wormhole. And in this case, uh, we just have this here. We have it bookmarked already. Uh, as you can see, I've already bookmarked it. Uh, once bookmarked, you can go ahead and warp to it. It's a uh, signature GDO here today. And this won't be valid when you're watching the video uh, because this wormhole will be long gone. Probably. Perhaps. Maybe if you're one of the first watchers, this wormhole will still be here. And if you got in through this wormhole GDO, make sure you comment below and say thank you for having this wormhole. It's, it, it's a pretty fresh one. Anyways, once the wormhole is located, uh, you would then go into the wormhole. Uh, ignore this little message. It just says that it's dangerous in here. Um, relatively speaking, it's fairly safe, but I'm not going to worry about it too much. Anyways, uh, once you get inside the wormhole, it is vital that you right-click this one, uh, the wormhole. You're going to right-click and save location and then just label it exit. 
And I've already done that because we've already done uh, the site and done the exploration part. And then when you're done finding your incipient drone site, you can just turn around and come right out the wormhole if you want to do it the wormhole way. Uh, it, it's really easy and it's possible that you get trapped in here if the, if the wormhole gets rolled while you're doing the incipient drone site. However, it's not too big of a deal if, if, if you know, it rolls because we're flying cheap ships. We're flying what we can afford to lose. And these ships are incredibly cheap at less than, you know, four million S for pretty much anything you bring. Um, unless you want to be fancy and bring something like a pacifier in, which I wouldn't recommend. Um, anyways, yeah, that's how you get into and out of Pochman. It's really easy once you understand how. Uh, so either use the uh, the filaments to get in and out or go ahead and, and scan down the send a wormhole and then you can skate around in a circle. And uh, that brings me to the next part, uh, which is actually doing the site. Anyways, see you guys in the next clip. Alrighty, attempt number two uh, to do this. So uh, in the last attempt, I'm just gonna show the end result of it. Uh, I did get caught on a gate camp. Uh, so we ended up uh, running through the, the, the loop. So we went all the way through, I wanna say it's Arvisaris or no, it's Ignabir. So we got all the way out. Actually, I got all the way out to Nivola um, before we got caught. And we didn't see any incipient drone sites, which is what we're looking for. And so we got caught going this way. So we're going to try and go the other way and see how this goes. Uh, but we are looking for this incipient drone site. And this is the second attempt. I'll show you guys the end result. It cackled me like right away. It's like, oh, yeah, OK, that's cool. It won't do it once you do it. And look at this. We found it right away. We have two incipient drone storms uh, in the neighboring um, system. So, uh, I will go ahead and I will bring up, I actually double checked, I looked it up before I did it. Uh, we have the Poshvin uh, Eve University wiki up as well. I actually looked up these sites. Uh, the reason we want these incipient drone swarm is because they're the easiest one. And when they initially spawn, they only have the three frigates and there's like no DPS. So uh, we can do it with a really cheap ship and we just need to kill one NPC. So we found our incipient drone swarm. We're gonna go ahead and warp within 30 uh, and then hope that it's not pre-spawned. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my hardener here. Uh, so this is the Kestrel uh, that is in the fitting window. You open up fittings, holes and fits, and then go to frigate, select Kestrel. This is an abyssal tier zero dark, except I changed the multi-spectrum from a multi-spectrum hardener to a compact multi-spectrum hardener so it fits without skills. That's all I changed. Uh, so it looks like we just have the little two NPCs here and our little frigate should be able to handle one of these no problem. So all we have to do is we warp to these guys, we come say hi, we turn on our prop mod. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and chase this guy down and their range is about 30. So they'll start hitting us soon. Our range is 21. Uh, so we're just gonna try and get close. Uh, they're flying towards us, we're flying towards them. I should be able to fire right away. Go ahead and fire our missiles there. And we should have enough tank to also survive it for a little while, because we have a shield booster. We're gonna hit F2 periodically to clear that. And we should be able to eventually kill this guy uh, if we continue throwing missiles at it. And all we have to do is kill this one little guy. That's it. Um, that looks like no rush. The ship can survive it, no problem. And, uh, yeah, all we're really worried about now is uh, somebody coming in and killing us while we do this. And this is a very low DPS ship. Uh, it's really easy to clear the site. So, yeah, we, we just have to kill the one NPC. And I'm going to show you guys here uh, that my standings are 0-0. Zero, zero, uh, and I have no standings with uh, Eating Com or Triglavians. And then after killing this one guy and then waiting 20 minutes... We will have our standings and while we wait the 20 minutes i'm actually going to go and uh, record the other portions of this video uh, but we're just going to go ahead and wait for this one little npc to die i could probably shut that off i don't need it on um it's kind of a they're, they're really easy to kill they, they they really don't do any damage and they're not an issue they don't tackle so i i, I killed my little vexing phase one swarmer uh, if there was a station I could dock up, this was actually right next to Senda. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do the extraction real quick. Uh, if you come in with an extraction filament, uh, at this point, you can warp to a planet and then take the extraction filament uh, as long as your uh, timer is over. 
but in my case, I actually decided to scan down the wormhole and then bookmark the entrance and exit. So I can just come in and out uh, as I please, as this entrance is only for jumps from Jita. Um, and I'll show you guys, uh, I probably will have already showed you guys how to make a bookmark for getting into Senda very quickly. Uh, I have another video describing how to use Senda for another thing, but I'll show you guys how to uh, locate Senda very rapidly uh, in this um, in, in, in this area. Uh, anyways, yeah, that's it. That's all you have to do. You just have to go kill one little drone in a symbiont drone site, and you're done. I have a bookmark, locations, exit, warp to zero. We're going to go ahead and warp to zero on the exit. Pew, 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 pew. All right. And then we're out of here with our positive trick settings. And I will uh, have you guys verified in the next 20 minutes. Uh, and yeah, that's really all you have to do. And I believe, I'm not sure. Um, anyways, this is how I get out. I have, I have a bookmark on the exit. I don't have a probe scanner on my ship. Uh, you may have to have like a second ship for scanning. And there is a uh, simple scanning ship that you can use as well in the, actually, I'll go over that in the next one. Uh, we'll go ahead and drop that. And we're out, just like that. So that's all it takes. And we have positive trick standings. Uh, we do have to, uh, after we get the notification that our standings change, we actually, I'm just going to mention that in a later part of the video. Uh, locations in Stock Warp Zero. All right, so while I was recording the last one, we actually got the notification, standings changed. The next thing that we have to do, after we've done the site, which I'm sure you guys have watched, we have to make sure that our standings actually change. And what we're going to do is we're going to open up our uh, character sheet by clicking the little icon here, and then we're going to find the interactions tab, and then we're going to verify that we actually have standings for Edencom and Triglavian. And then not only are we going to verify, but we're going to uh, make sure that on the trig standings that we have station services and then we have a little blue icon here and then that this is zero zero or above and there's no red here uh and if this is zero zero or above and this is zero zero or above we are good uh, we have the little positive standing stick on both of them and that tells me that we are good the other thing that you have to do uh before you actually like take advantage before it actually takes effect is you actually have to log out and log back in um, to make sure that it actually takes effect. I have a story. I did this on uh, a character uh, a while ago, and I skipped the log in, log out thing. And even though I had positive trick standings, the Triglavians still shot me. So it's really important that you, you know dock up, log in, log out to just cement that and make sure that they don't actually shoot you. But once your standings are positive. Uh, you can hang out with Triglavians and Eating Gum all you want. I'm polarized, so I can't go in here. Uh, but if we go ahead and dock up, I'll be right back. I'm going to go log out and log back in. And uh, we'll go find some Triglavians and hang out on grid with them really quick. Alrighty, so I've logged out and I've logged back in. And we're docked up, so we're just going to go ahead and undock. And then we're just going to go verify that we have our Trig standings positive. We came out of the system. Uh, where there are Triglavians, so I should be able to find them via D scan. Oh, uh, we witnessed that again today. Uh, anyways, there's Triglavians here. And hit F9 and then go directional scanner here. And I'm just going to scan some planets until we find some Triglavians. Doo -doo -doo. Uh, we found them on that planet or this planet. Looks like there's some here on planet one. I'll go say hi to them. And if they don't shoot us, we're in a pretty good deal. Uh, if they do shoot us, we're not in that good of a deal. <laughs> but it should be fine. Uh, they're actually not on the grid. My D-scan skills must be bad. Or they moved. Entirely possible that they moved. Uh, there's some more there. 
Warp within zero to that planet. And here we are. Uh, they are actually uh, colored white, which means that they are not red to me. And since they are colored white, they should just leave me alone. And I should be a happy camper. Uh, they may come and scan me, uh, but they would be red boxing me already if the case was that um, they didn't like me. So it looks like we are good. Uh, and they are my friends again. Did somebody actually die here? Ooh. I might steal some loot. Let's go see. Oh, sh Battlecruiser wreck, 300 kilometers away. Let's see. Open cargo. Oh, you know what? He was flying a Naga. The poor guy. Uh, there's not really going to be much in that mobile tractor unit. Anyways, uh, this brings me... This is a great segue uh, into the next thing of what to do if you have crazy standings like this. And you go into your interactions and you participated in the Triglavian invasion a couple of years ago. Uh, and you have, you know, 9.95 standings either way. If your standings are really high for Triglavians, don't freak out. You're not going to spend 20 hours going at 0 .001 standings uh, uh, a tick to fix it. What you do is you go fight Eating Com. And I'm not going to cover fighting Eating Com in this video because you fought Triglavians long enough. You know how to fight. I'm going to tell you to go fight Eating Com. If you're the other way and you have crazy low eating comm standings and crazy high Triglavian standings, you can shoot Triglavians and then your eating comm standings will swing and they're inverse of each other. So they're, you see how mine are exactly inverse. So what will happen is if you shoot the other, you'll swing really fast to zero zero. And then you just watch your standings go down as you fight eating gum or fight Triglavians if you're on the other side of the fence. And when they get close to zero zero, then you go into Potsford and fight some drones. And then you're probably more combat capable. You could probably bring something that can actually deal with a full like incipient drone site or actually deal with full sites to get big standing sticks. So you don't necessarily have to go with the cheap, easy thing. You can fight the bigger group, the bigger groups and get actual standing sticks instead of the zero zero one and then get it from like point zero or point zero one or, or point one and then bring them both over into uh, positive territory. But that's what you do if you have crazy standings. You just go fight the other one until your standings are close to zero or as close to zero as they get. Or in some cases, if you've already gone and joined a standing fleet and fought drones, uh, when you fight the other side, you'll, uh, it's possible that you can land in a spot where you have positive standings to both if you've already gone and attempted to fight drones before. Um, but that's all that I have, and I know that this is the last bit of the video. Make sure you guys fly fun, enjoy your time in EVE Online, and uh, like, comment, subscribe if you like this video. And if you didn't, comment anyways and tell me why. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. And, uh, yeah, life on everybody. Continue bringing each other up.